I'm in my John Deere 3046R. And today I'm in my John Deere 3046R. I'm just mowing some grass here. I got a massive Ferguson brush hog on, on the back. I really enjoy the John Deere tractors. It's 3000 series. I think it's a three family tractor. It's got four wheel drive, cruise control. It's got the uh, bucket on, but I don't have the bucket on right now. Yeah, the cab, air conditioned, heat, radio. John Deere really did a good job on this tractor. It's got a Yanmar diesel engine in it. Uh, this is a 2014 tractor. It's got the Yanmar, uh, I think it's a three tier, no, it's a three cylinder tractor diesel. It's got the, uh, it has the regen in it, which we still haven't understood. And what the regen system does is all the soot from your, your diesel gets caught in a, a, a filter in your exhaust. And when it goes in the regen, the regeneration process, it blows all that carbon out of that filter out of an ejection port at the top of the, on the hood of the tractor. And you can do this while you're parked, while you're going, and you can turn it off to auto, you can turn on automatic, you can do it while you're parking, you can even have it off do it manually. This video is not going to be that long. I'm going to get you guys some clips of uh, me cutting this field. And uh, I'm going to have it from the front and the back. Then I, I might even do a time lapse. I see on YouTube, don't show you the inside of the cab. I want to tell you how I start my brush hog. Because there's like a certain technique not to like destroy your equipment. So what I do is, you're at idle. So you're at 10,000 RPM. Go ahead and pop up your power takeoff switch. Feel that the power takeoff kick on. You'll see that your shaft is spinning. And you'll get this indicator on your dash saying that your uh, power takeoff is on. It also comes down here saying what RPM you have. So, what I like, so this tractor also has your uh, auto, I forget what they, John Deere calls it, but it, you step on the gas pedal and it tax up the engine. So I have it set to auto with the uh, gear, uh, cruise control too. So then I turn, go all the way up. You hear the turbo spin up on this tractor. And you'll see the uh, RPM, the PTO RPM go up. And I like to run at the PTO at hang on this one's shaking. So when that happens, shut it off and start it back up again. It should stop shaking then. The next time you start it back up. See a uh, little shake now? Alright so This one here is for 
or no wait I think the SBC goes here if we didn't opt for anything other than what we needed for this farm but you got a bunch you, you can get a whole bunch of stuff and we only got the one mirror up top there All right, guys. I'm sorry for uh, that shaky video. It's just the engine vibrating on, a, on the uh, dash mount. Uh, if I can get the uh, tripod, this or I mean, I don't have a mount for my camera in the back, only on the hood. So uh, I'll see if I can rest it in the window sill back there, and uh, if I can. You guys will see it. If I can't, you guys won't see the, the mowing in back there. Alright guys, just got done mowing and it's pretty dirty, it's pretty dusty, barely see through the windshield when the light's hitting it. So uh, I'm going to wait for this to cool down and then we're uh, going to hose her up. Alright there guys, uh, the tractor cooled down and we're, we're going we're gonna to hose her down now. So, uh, turn the water on.
And that's the quick way to watch a tractor. All right, guys, this was the old American down at the farm. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See ya!